Alright, so welcome back to Garden Warfare 2. Welcome back, actually, to PS4. I know, just before you even go there, just to hear me out. We have been doing the mod series for a little bit, and make no mistake about it, I'm having a ton of fun doing the mod series, and we're definitely going to be continuing with that. But I kind of got up today, and I had a couple of thoughts. One, I fancy doing a Wolfie and Chill. And two, I kind of fancy playing some multiplayer. Like, actual multiplayer, not against computers, but not on a platform where everyone's better than me. So, QPS4, I thought I'd come back on here. They've just put up a new town hall, which is weird. I don't think... We, mu we must have played this one at some point. It's called To Heal or Not To Heal, Plants and Zombies Are Spawning. It's basically Team Vanquish, uh, but you have Healing Auras and Berserker. Now, I played like one round of it. The Berserker is very much there, but I don't know about the Healing Auras. I haven't seen any Healing Auras. Basically... Berserker is just a thing where the less health you have, the more damage you do. Which is kind of annoying, because it means that you have this situation where you keep getting the jump on people. You're kicking the shit out of them in the gunfight, and then they get down to 10 health. And then suddenly their damage is just, like, nuclear. So then they just laser you to death in, like, two seconds. So that's Berserker. Healing auras are supposed to be... I can't remember exactly how the healing auras work. But we're gonna jump in. I thought, you know what? Let's get on the town hall, stomach whatever piece of hell they put on it. But you know what? There's no speed boost, so it can't be that bad, right? And if you're new to Wolfie and Chill, you've never watched one of these before. This is basically the series within a series where I, I basically get a day off. I sit down and I play Garden Warfare 2, but I kind of make a point of not editing the video or not that much. So that it's kind of a long play thing, because we don't do long play stuff that often. I think the last time I did was Village. We haven't done anything since that, so this is interesting. We have no sunflower, no torchwood. That's interesting. Well, I'm going to play egg. Don't know about you, but the egg is calling my name. I should also point out that coming back on PS4 was basically one big elaborate excuse to play egg and to play Scally. So it would appear they have unlocked the entire cast, hence... Everyone's playing Toxic Brains. Like, absolutely everyone is playing Toxic Brains. That's fine. We can deal with that. Okay, just kill him straight out of the barrel. Don't mind if I do. I'm yet to see an SB that... Oh, there, no, there we go. I was about to say I'm yet to see an SB that isn't Toxic Brains, but we got an e brain so... Okay, the egg's actually not as rusty as I thought it was going to be. Oh, shit. Hold on. I don't know if he thought that he killed me and that's why he suddenly stopped, or... I don't know. But yeah, I had a lot of people saying that they wanted me to do more of the long play stuff. See, things like doing Let's Plays every now and then and then Wolfie and Chills is the ideal kind of time to do a long play. I decided... At one point, I was considering making it like a kind of regular thing, like always having something that I could long play. But I don't really think I want to do that because I feel like if I make it a normal thing, it kind of loses the novelty. I think as of right now, part of the appeal is the fact that... Get fucked. <laughs> is the fact that I don't do it that often. And I'm definitely going to be doing more of it going forward, but I kind of want to... As far as like Let's Playing stuff, I want to handpick the games that I do it for. So obviously, like, I have a few games lined up this year that I'm going to be doing it for, but I don't want to just... For the sake of wanting to have something on the go, just kind of pick any old thing. I I'm not entirely sure where I'm going with it. You know what I'm trying to say. I don't want to do it too often, because I would much rather just spawn in the exact place that I just died. This guy's not going to kill me. You're not going to kill me. Just... Mm -mm. works. Oh, Cosmic Brains. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Oh, it's like I got attacked by a little kitten. Okay, I'm hitting stupid damage. I think I just saw like 76 or something like that. Hitting ridiculous damage right now. So don't worry, for those of you who enjoy the long play stuff, it will be continuing. I just don't want to, I don't want to overdo it. Because I kind of, I still want it to be like a nice sort of surprise. When I do it, like, we still do, still do the Wolfie and Chills every now and then. And there'll be 
Let's Plays in the future. I think the, the two main ones that I've got planned for this year are Outlast Trials and FNAF Security Breach. Because certain horror games that come out, like, I actually just want to play through the whole thing. But I know we got games that scare me where I tend to just kind of do a lot of horror games as a one-off. And series don't really come out of that series. But, like, there was a reason that I didn't do a games that scare me for Resident Evil. And I probably won't do one for Outlast Trials. And I won't do one for Security Breach either. That was a waste of a pack. Some things I would rather just do as series, do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, now that we're done rambling about that, got to find something to fill the time, right? So this doesn't seem that bad. The Berserker is... It's just... It's going to be situational. Sometimes it's going to help you. Sometimes it's going to fuck you up. That's just kind of how Berserker is. I, I'm still not seeing these healing auras, though. They're insisting that healing auras is part of this, but I've, I've still... I haven't seen a single one, so... I don't know. Maybe they just stuck that on the poster to make it look like the game mode was more interesting than it actually is. I don't know. In other news, I'm playing Scallywag Imp, so... It's quite nice. Come back and chill on PS4 for a little bit. I think I was going a little bit mad just playing against computers the whole time. Oh. Uh, baller. Okay. I'm not going to waste my time with that. Ooh. Not really sure what happened there. It's nice. It's just chill. Especially when you get a decent town hall. Like, if you can get a half-decent town hall, aka anything that doesn't have speed boost in it, then it's actually quite nice. That just... <laughs> that doesn't happen very often. But the Scally Wagon is definitely a little bit rusty, so... I wonder what kind of damage I can hit with this guy when he's berserk. Don't husk hop. There you go. See, now this is going to be really good because I get damage reduction with this. 72 fucking damage. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that works. <laughs> I'm not complaining. You want to just, like, make that permanent so I can always hit that much? Uh, oh, they're spawning behind me. Oh, let's chuck that over there. That dude. Oh, yeah. Go on, get down, get down, get down. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to ignore the corn for now. Because he doesn't register on the important radar. For things I have to deal with precisely this second. So this is like the one game mode where I kind of wish auto healing wasn't a thing. No, EP taking no chances. Nope. Sorry. Not happening. It's kind of the one game where you actually want to stay at low health. I'd love to know what the actual multiplier is, though, because the Berserk that I remember playing with was not like this. Like, it would sort of increase by, like, 20%, and then 40 then 60 and 80 not when your Scallywag Imp gets down to 30 health and you're suddenly hitting double damage. I don't remember it being that good. No, you didn't make it. Do you know what? Oh, fuck. Fucking fuck. See, everyone's just playing Legends. <laughs> I mean, I get it. It's like, it's them, one of them game modes where if you haven't got them, you actually get a chance to rank them up. So you're like, just bumming off them as much as you physically can. It's not so bad when you're playing on zombies, because at least plants have, like, a bit more of a variety and you're not just playing against an entire team of toxic brains. Nope. Not exactly how I'm dealing with that. Sorry. Some characters, you just, you just gotta gravity nade them and stand underneath them. It's just the way it is. That, he couldn't have reacted to that by smashing his triangle button any quicker. Fucking hell. That was like, that wasn't even frame one husk hop. That was like frame 0 0.5. But we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Got a cup of tea as well. Oh, it's good. It's good. Nailed that. 
So what are we doing tomorrow? I'll tell you what, before we discuss tomorrow, let's just open the rest of these. I've got like enough for one more after this. Iron Citron? No, okay, cool. Uh, what are we doing tomorrow? We're playing Rayman tomorrow. It's games that take me back. I've sort of adopted the practice now where I do the poll and I take the top two suggestions rather than the top one because I think part of my reason for wanting to do that is there's a lot of really close contests sometimes where it'll be like one game gets 300 votes and then the next game gets like 290. So for that reason, I feel like taking the top two is a better idea. Yeah, we're playing PS1 Rayman tomorrow. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be interesting. Also, there should be a poll up in the community tab right now about about clips because the last clip video I did I actually decided to do variety clips and I thought that was kind of a cool idea I really really enjoyed filming that one and I kind of just put a poll up to say here listen do you want me to do more variety stuff in the future to be completely honest with you I would quite happily just do that permanently from now on like here's the thing even if I was to okay well I'm like the only zombie in here so that helps can I no I would quite happily just make that the series from now on. Because the thing is, even if I do variety games, you can still send me PvZ clips. And I'll still... Oh yeah, this is what my team is doing. Kicking the shit out of a, an inanimate object. Great. You can still send me PvZ clips and I'll still watch PvZ clips. But I'll just, you know... It means when I... You know, every time I get sent 10 billion Splatoon clips when I ask for BFN. You know? It's, it's not such a bad thing anymore. I figured, you know what, I might as well just make it, I could just make it a variety thing so people can send me whatever they want. I think it would make the episodes more enjoyable to watch because you're getting more of a variety of clips as opposed to just watching <laughs> the same jump shots over and over again. And it means you can send me all the Splatoon clips you want. You can just, you can knock yourself out. Nope, I see that. I see it, but I can't do nothing about it because I'm a fucking terrible shot. Thank you, baseball star, for compensating for my dumbass. I forget how much drag this character has. Where was I even getting shot from just then? Because I swear down, that barbecue corn was facing away from me. Okay, he's still not dead. What the f... Allow it. So I should be hitting pretty good damage now. At 28 health, I'm expecting to see some numbers. 15? I need like a clear shot at someone. Like a real clear shot. I'm just going to camp in here like a little bitch, by the way. I don't even care. I have no shame. Okay. 14, 15... Oh, pretty good stuff. Does it make the stink cloud do more damage as well? The old uh, Stenchy the Stank. Am I actually getting extra damage on Stenchy the Stank when I do that? Because if I am, that's sick. That makes Park Ranger like low-key busted in this. They're coming from the other side now? Maybe? Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Really took his time to try and charge that up, didn't he? Oh, now we're moving. Look at this. As long as I'm kind of out of the line of sight, mate, I can just keep on plowing them. How much is ZPG doing? Enough. More than enough. I'm going to stop camping in this corner now, because I feel like kind of a scumbag. There we go. We'll just pretend like that's what happens every time I try and shoot a drone down. And I don't normally have to empty half my clip into it. I'm not really too eager. They're, they're kind of, they've caught on now. They've kind of caught on that we're all just camping middle, so... They're doing exactly what I would do in their position, which is just pick one of these four sections and just sit there. Normally z -gypped. I'm going to make my way over to z because I feel like... They tend to default to that. Speed ghost it. Yep. That's the one. Oh, 
fuck. I was kind of hoping he hadn't seen me, but I think he was the one that I tried to... You're a psychopath. You're a psychopath and you need help. Just for going for that res. The audacity of the man. Yeah, they're not they're not coming through anymore. They have well and truly caught on. Well and truly caught on. They have. It's alright, I can handle it. Okay, I thought I could handle it. But no, I can't handle hot Cheetos. It's a little bit too much, apparently. I'll play one more game. It's been nice though. I always love doing these. They're just so they're so chilled out sometimes. I can just kick back. Just ramble on about bollocks that no one cares about. Get the most assists. Like only I know how to do. Yeah, nothing's happening out of these, is it? broken hair about that. Yeah, I think I got these ones from Walmart. They did not last. They last like a week and then they snap. I think I could just like... That went absolutely nowhere. That legit just went like... There we go. It didn't go far. <laughs> oh yes, that's fire cactus. Do you know what's kind of weird to me? Is all the time that I've been playing Egg, it's never occurred to me to actually name these two. And I kind of feel obliged to do it now. But now I put myself on the spot. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What should we name these two? I feel like we need names for them. Oh, oh look at this. Look at this. Mm, nah, see, I had free real estate walking up the steps then. And then you just had to come and ruin it. So thanks for that, mate. No. I'll find my free real estate elsewhere then. It's all just... It's the same fucking guy. It's always the same guy. Look, he, just, he doesn't even want to fight me anymore. He's like, nah, dude, I'm fucking done fighting this guy. He just goes the other way whenever he sees me now. Nice. Oh. Trying to get on that park ranger game, eh? Oh, that was a good hit. That was a really good hit. Okay. My detonations are just all kinds of dog shit here. You got it? Oh, we've taken over this side now. Alright. It's amazing to me that I get berserk when I'm, like, still well above 100 health. 120 health is, like, max health for most characters. Okay, save me a job there. What are you going to do? Are you going to turn around again? <laughs> he didn't have time. He just die. Oh now, oh, now the damage is getting there. Oh, my days. I can just, I can hit, I can splash an imp once and that's good enough for a shed. That's how much damage I'm hitting. Alright, not getting much done with that. Dude, I don't know what you were trying. He's out. That was enough for a shed, seriously. This character is cracked. Dude, get the fuck out of here. Petrified Cactus is so stupid. For, like, no reason as well. Hang on, I could get back up there again. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, sir. The Shadow Bunyip wasn't good enough. Speaking of Bunyip, you know, they, they've actually re-released the first two Tie the Tasmanian Tigers on Switch. 
and I had no idea until like a couple of weeks ago. And like, I never actually played the first one, but the second one, Bush Rescue, was like one of my ultimate childhood games. Like, I got a lot of childhood games, but Bush Rescue was one of the ones that I put like the most time into. I just played that game endlessly. Dude, I'll kill you out of party time. I don't give a shit. Mate, I'm playing egg. You get party time. I get egg time, except egg time never ends. You're over here like... Playing your little fucking party jingle. And I'm over here like, bring me eggs. Only eggs can sustain me. Oh. Eggs, not Pop-Tarts. Okay, that didn't... Okay. Apparently, he can bitch slap my potato mine and take it out without it killing him. But yeah, they re-released uh, both the... The first two Tide the Tasmanian Tigers. I don't know if they did the third one. I don't know, man. I, f I feel I'm going to have to play them. I feel like it's kind of... I feel like it's got to be done. I didn't, never actually thought I'd see someone using pylon in from this. Only eggs can sustain me. God, what the fuck even was that game? Probably one of the scarier games that I played in that series, but it's so stupid. And apparently the whole thing was just uh, some sort of Game Grumps shit post. Anyway, I think that is going to do it for this edition of Wolfie and Chill. We've had half a cup of tea. We played some games. I've sat here and just rambled on about nothing. And hopefully we've all had a good time. So if you've enjoyed it, and if you want to see more Wolfie and Chill stuff in the future, then make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new around here. Turn on the notification bell end, and I'll see you next time. Don't worry, we will be back on PC.